Hi everyone. I hope uh, this new microphone I've got works properly, but um, here we are. Another exciting action-packed adventure of VYVZ Garage. Um, today, for the third time, I'm going to pull the diff out of the red ute. This is one that I put new bearings in that's been going for years. I left the car sitting for three weeks, didn't drive it. Now it's making all sorts of noises, so I don't know what's happened. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so today I'll be taking the diff out, and I've cheated. I've loosened, I've already cracked all the bolts. But we'll go, I'll go through it with you. So I think that that was, uh, let's see, uh, speed sensors on either side. There are two five, let me see. I just used, if I can get it, little T5. Um, okay, so, nine sixteenths for your tail shaft. Now I'll show you, I've got one out. If I can, where are you? Okay, hang on, I'm gonna set this camera up. So they're out of the tail shaft. 9 sixteenths, I know you can get proper spanners for these, but 9 sixteenths was a really good fit on that. So, and they are, I will show you, these three. These three, don't take the one with the nut off, just the one that screws straight into the flange, right? So you take that one off, 9 sixteenths. Okay, so, this is the drama you will run into. Hang on, let me... Great camera work, eh? I should work in TV. I'm that good with this thing. And now, righto. These, now I've had this diff out. Like I said, I've done three diff changes. So they weren't very hard for me to crack, but when you do it, they will be very hard to crack. You'll need a big bar or something decent. And I went and bought one of these, which is, I will tell you, no, I won't because it doesn't bloody... Oh, yeah, 8 mil, 8 mil hex socket, see? But this is a longer one. You can have a shorter one, but I got the heavy-duty one, the rattle gun one. Um, yeah, when you first do it, they are very, very hard to crack. But once you crack them, they're, they're not bad. And a tip, do not disconnect your tail shaft first. Make sure you, you've cracked all of these bolts first. And um, you need a good handbrake or you put your car in park if it's an auto or something like that because you will have to turn the axle a bit. There'll be one or two that you won't be able to reach, especially on the other side with the exhaust, and you'll have to turn it. And then you put your handbrake on or whatever and you crack all of these first before you disconnect your tail shaft. Um, because you can use the gearbox to hold it as well. That's the only reason I'm saying don't connect, disconnect it. If you've got a mega handbrake, then fine. But like I said, they are very, very hard to crack if, if it's the original diff and it hasn't been out. See, mine, mine's been in and out that many times. It, it'll probably fall out, you know. Um, so like I said, they're all loose. They're all loose, I'll show you. I'll pull one of these out. Now once I get the axles off and the tail shaft off, then there's two bolts at the front and two bolts at the rear on top and you've got your rear diff. Hang on, I'll spin you around. You probably won't see because of the sun, but then you've got your rear diff mount here. So I usually take that off first and then you've got your four mounting bolts on top. I can't remember what size they are. They could be 17 from memory. Don't trust my memory, but anyway, I don't know whether to film this or not because it's pretty straightforward. You undo all of these bolts and pull an axle away from the diff. You undo your bolts on your tail shaft and you pull the tail shaft away. And I think I'm on a found one that I didn't loosen after I. Oh no, it's loose. So I'll give you a big lecture on loosening everything, and I haven't done it. Um, yeah, I don't know, 
I don't know how much of this to film, but I'll just, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know that I always say I'm going to speed it up and I never do, because I just keep talking. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happened to the diff, but I suspect that something has come loose. Now, whether it be the, the sides here that hold the side carrier bearings, um, I think that's what it is. That's my suspicion anyway, you know. Um, so I don't know if it can be rescued. This is a limited slip 3.07. I've still got the original diff, which was... Now, don't quote me. I'm going off memory, but I think it's a 3.46 limited slip but I wanted better mileage on the highway and better drop the revs on the highway because you know I go to a lot of swap meets and that do a bit of traveling so I did this now because I've set it up for 3.07 um, and all the speedos in these new cars are electric you have to change the pulse rate and there's a little formula for that but I think you can go online and actually find out where it's got to be set and then you'll need like a tech 2 or something like that to set it up or a good scanner but i've already set this thing up and the speedo spot on so i don't want to put the original diff back in so lucky me years ago i bought a 3.07 diff um, and it's a single spinner you know it's not a limited slip but it's a really good diff, dead quiet. And the best thing about it is that I didn't rebuild it. So it should be all right. So, um, and so you noticed that while I've been taking these bolts out, and I said I was going to speed this video up, but I've been too busy bloody talking shit. So there's absolutely no chance of this video getting sped up. So I'll do this as quick as I can. And then I might stop the video. I might have to come back to this tomorrow because it's late in the Arvo. Uh, I've been working on another car, that bloody cruise. Um, and there's a bloke out in the front working on my son's old Astra because it's just a nightmare with the electrics on that thing. Uh, anyway. So, I really should have put Loctite on these when I put them in, but like, you know, it's like most things, you do it up tight enough. I've never had anything fly off on the highway or anything, so, you know, some blokes freak out and say, oh, you've got to talk it up, you've got to do this. Mate, I'll watch another bloke and he's like me, he just bloody up, did it up tight and he said that'll do. Anyway, but... There are some things that where you really should, especially talk to your bolt, then yes, you do have to. But I've spoken about that before and totally ignored it. So, okay, so let me see if I can get you somewhere where you can see. Yeah, well, I don't know what you can and can't see because I can't even see it. I'm going for these, but I'm just going to leave it here, or oh, maybe up further. Now I can't even see the screen, hang on. Half of the video is going to be taken up of me trying to set this bloody thing up. Anyway, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there because I just want to pull these out quick. Shouldn't ever say quick. There's nothing bloody quick about working on cars, man. Nothing. Every time I say quick, I end up here for three days. Bloody quick. That's a curse. Well, it don't take half an hour. Yeah, it'll only take quick job, mate. It'll only take half an hour. I'll have it done. You bullshit. Three fires later. Right up. Enough whinging. You can see it's tight around here because of the exhaust, so 
Now, I need my little socket because where do I put it? Okay. Oh yeah. Why don't you, why don't you look on the ratchet, you bull fed. Righto. So, I better get this one out. It's right behind the exhaust. That's what I mean. When, you, when you're cracking them, you will have to turn it. So you can get, and just be careful because, you know, it's a it's an Allen key and it can slip and and I've actually stripped the guts like where the Allen key goes in. If you don't have it in there properly, they fill up with dirt. So make sure you clean them out before you try to crack them. Um, because sometimes the Allen key won't go all the way in and it can slip out and, all your, and then you'll strip the inside where the Allen key goes. You'll strip that out, you'll round it out and guess what? You'd be using the oxy. Um, not that I ever, ever have done that. But I could if I wanted to. And I will, I'm willing to learn how to do it. But um, I've nearly got this out now. And then I'll, I think I've got two more in the tail shaft. And like I said, they're already loose. I did that because I figured that I would not speed this video up. So, and, and like I said, this has been out before, so they weren't hard. If I wanted to do the outside ones near the wheel fairings, they would be really hard because I've never undone them. Anyway, like I said, be careful, make sure you clean the dirt out of them. The two bolts up the top that bolt the diff to the, the carrier or the frame, they're a bit hard to get to sometimes, but I think I even bought a special spanner years ago when I first did it. It's like anything when you first do it and you think, oh no, I'll never be able to do that. Anyway, all right, so you just, now I'm going to move you around to the back. So you can see nothing at the back. All right, so we're taking these out now, these little bolts. I might actually put them back in because they're small and they're screaming to be lost. You know, they roll down, they roll down your driveway and you never see them again. So, all right, I'll just spin you a bit because I've got to go around the other side. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get too old to lay under cars. Oh, see, like that. Don't ever do that. It's something else you've learnt now. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do, I hope it works. So, but I'm just going to try and be smart and take the socket with me. What have I got here? A bloody axle hit me in the head. So I'm going to leave that up there. Righto. Let me see, let me see. Righto. Now we're going to take these out. So, as I said, already loose. See that? It's like, it's like a cooking show, isn't it? Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, righto. And the other one's over here. I hope this microphone's working, or otherwise all this bloody shit talking I'm doing, you won't be, you won't get the benefit of it, will you? Look at all that. I was cleaned all that years ago, and it's all dirty again. You wouldn't believe it, but I painted all this stuff up really nice, you know. And look at it now; looks like shit. Sometimes I think, why the hell did I bother? All right, so I have. Because I've done this before, I have brought my little trusty crowbar to get this off. And of course the crowbar's too long and I can't get any leverage, but I think I might go and get another. I hit myself in the head. Alright, so it's not going to cooperate. You, come on you bastard. It should come out. 
All right. No, nah. so that's just gone back on. If I wanted to put it on, there's no way it would go that easy. All right, let's try again. All right, I'm going to try and lever it down. I oh, nearly got it. Getting there. Hang on, I'm going to just try and lever the whole shaft down. That's it. Easy as shitting in bed, eh? All right. So, now, this is where we're up to. The rear fifth mount. And I shall just refresh my memory. And I'll see what size they are. They should be metric. Mm-hmm, yes, it's all going well. Okay, 13 mil, I reckon. There you go. Never, ever a doubt, was there? Never. I haven't broken anything yet, but, you know, I'm finished. I missed out the other day because I've, I've, I don't know if you watched a previous video of me swap meet score. I bought some pacemaker headers and um, Blake in Sydney had the middle bit that I wanted that joins to the cat and I missed it. It's feeling. I'll have to go to the exhaust place because I want to put them on. Um, I haven't really touched the heads, the, those heads I was porting. Uh, one of them, one side's just about done. I've bought valves. I bought the valves from Mace. I bought some standard springs, valve springs, because I don't, I'm not building a race car. I just want to try and get a little bit more power out of this thing and I'll be happy. It goes well enough now. Um, so crow cam valve springs, standards, uh, I bought the retainers, I haven't got keepers yet, going to get new lifters, I don't know about a cam, I haven't made me mind up with a cam whether to leave this cam and just get the high ratio rockers, um, or just put a little bit better cam in it. I don't really know which way to go. It's easier not to touch the cam, but when I do go to put the heads on, the engine will be stripped down that far that it's really not gonna be that much more of a drama, although the harmonic balance has gotta come off and it is a fair bit more work, I suppose. You can take the balance on the front case off and so I don't know but the lifters will be out and everything's going to be out it's just taking the front of the engine off so haven't quite made up my mind because this thing well you know by the time I do it it might have about 250,000 on it so whether I do something with the bottom end rebuild it I might everything sort of snowballs with these jobs the original intention was put the heads a bit and whack them on and that's it but you know when has that ever worked so now once I get this off This is actually going to drop down a bit. Yeah, that's right. It does too. It drops. Anyway. It can drop. Well, 
I might, um, might be a good idea. I don't like the look of this. I'm going to get the uh, the jack. Just put it back under here. I'm hoping I won't hit the camera. But I bet you I do. Okay. That's better. That's more better. Safety first, mate. I don't know if I'll film putting it back in. It's just going to be the reverse of this. You'll need a jack to lift it up, of course, and you usually get your bolts into the um, rear frame or the carrier, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it's worth filming it. I might do it, if, whether I post it or not. Depends on whether I end up wearing the diff on my head. Now, all right, so I'm going to have to figure out what size those bolts are. So I'm looking here and I've got an 18, 19, I don't think they're that big. Possibly they are 18 by the look of it. Now, I think I'm going to let this down a bit. to drop okay I'm gonna have to remove the spare wheel as you can see if you can see it's hard up and I need to drop it down so we'll just pause it okay spare wheel removed so now I can drop that down I hope you can see because the Sun hits this camera every now and again I'm gonna adjust the angle because this is coming down oh, come on all right sorry about the sun okay so all right so that's down um i think i'll remove it when i get it out of the car there's two bolts i'll show you in a minute Okay, let's have a look. There's two bolts in there that you, you take out, but I'll do that later. Um, so that can come away. So the only thing left is a breather pipe, which is up the top here, which just pulls out. Um, so I'll take it right off. It hits himself in the head with a spare wheel thing. And see if I can reach these, which should be 18. Ah, see, I might have been right. He thinks they are 17. Yeah, definitely 17. All right. But this spanner I've got has got too much of a step in it. It's not going to be good. I need a flat one. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Right, uh, all right. It's time. It's time for commercial while I get a spanner. All right, back again now because I've got this bloody jack here. I'm going to. I've got to get around the front there. So I want to get the front two out first. So I'm going to go on this side. That's the only problem. Uh, 
Okay. I remember the first time I did this, these were pricks of things, but I don't know how I was trying to get them out. I think I tried to remove them too early in the process. But... <clears throat> All right. Of course I need to get out because I need a bloody hammer. I think I'll put all my bolts somewhere secure first. Right, uh, I need to go and get a hammer. working I've done all this for nothing all right even with the hammer it is very tight I don't think I can do this no 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 way how am I gonna undo this Okay, let's try this. There's just no room to move. I need a pipe or something. Hang on. I'm wondering. I don't think I'll fit a, a ratchet here. So. When I come to put this back in, I'm going to have to uh, figure out a way to tighten this. Alright, it started to move. Oh, no. No. Alright, I think I got that one. Getting anywhere, Sam? Yeah, he's got to wait 20 minutes. He's got the security code thing. Yeah. There's no room under here to. No, there's no room. I've got to try and loosen these off, and it's so hard to get to, so. to use something else but oh. just can't I can't do anything here nah all right I'm gonna stop filming Don't touch anything. I don't like pushing the stop button. You oh, can you pause can, it. Oh, you can pause it? Alright, sorry about that. I've just gone and got an old jack handle bit of pipe. I'm going to put it over the spanner. And try and loosen it. This isn't going to work. The head of the spanner is too big to go on the pipe. Oh, bloody brilliant. Alright, I'll have to.
to work out something else. Yeah, no way. No way. All right. Okay. Take 57. Anyway, I'm going to have to work out some other way to do this. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Let's try again. get angry. Yes, I will. I'll get angry. Got it. I bought this, um, I'll show you in a minute. I bought this really long ring spanner years ago when I first did this. And just, to, just for these two bolts, I oh, know, stupid, but I did. Come in handy. You can get a lot of leverage on it because it's so long. You really need it. Although if I had, you know, if you've got a hoist, or you get your car up higher than what I've got it, you probably have more luck than what I have. Actually, I reckon a, a three-legged skunk would have more luck than what I've got. nearly done two bolts at the back now I'd like to say I really want to say that they're nowhere near as difficult as the front ones but if I say it you know what's gonna happen so I just did right uh, all right I'm having trouble with this microphone, it's going everywhere. Okay. I hope you can see what I'm doing, because I haven't checked the camera for a while. Hang on, talk. I don't know if they can see, I don't know what you can see. It's hard doing it with this phone sometimes. Oh no, that's better. Yep. Alright, so, this is loose, you can probably see the spanner I'm using, um, it's pretty long, very good for this job, very good, because it's flat, I'll give you a better look in a minute, once I've dropped the diff, oh actually I'll give you a look now, I want to get this bolt out, there's only one more bolt left. Everything else was pretty simple. Just getting these top bolts sometimes, those front two, they're mongrels. Right out. So, I hope you can see it, but there is my spanner. It's a really, I think I got it from um, Sydney Tools or something years ago. And you can see there it's dead flat. It's dead flat and it's really good for doing this job. And the amount of times I pull the diff out, I need it. <laughs> I don't really mind doing it. I used to do it on old Holdens. They were like a live axle. A lot more involved. A lot harder. Anyway. One more. And that's it. And I hope the sound works. I keep saying that because I haven't watched... I'll try to watch any of this video back to see if it's working. There's some bloke, some of you out there will probably think, geez, I hope the bloody microphone doesn't work. So we can just watch. We don't have to listen to him. Alright. 
I should have actually put those out of the way and tied them up, but you know, that's just extra work. Righto, so we're just about done and I'm going to have to hang on to this diff because it'll roll forward on the jack when I lower it. So we are about to lower the diff and you can see that it's already wants to take off. So I'm just going to lower it slow and that's it. She's out. She's out again. She sees a light of day. Spent more time out than in. Right -o. So it's off the jack. We will do an inspection when we get it out. Okay. I won't take the rear mount off yet. But let's get it out. And we'll have a look. You can come too. Righto, here we are. So, that doesn't feel too bad. That does not feel too bad, alright. You know, it is, and I know you're not going to believe this, but I'm just fixing your angle up. It is quite possible that I've misdiagnosed this, although it was, it was really making a noise in the car, and it couldn't have been anything else, I don't think. But, that feels pretty good. That still feels good. So, okay. So now, what I will do is, let's go back under the car, eh? I'll pause it for a Sorry, just cut myself off. I'll pause it for a sec, because I have a suspicion of something else it might be. All right, what I'm looking at, these feel a bit notchy. The play in there doesn't feel too bad. Sorry, uh, that... That doesn't really feel too bad. I think this feels a bit notchy, unless I pull it out. When I pull it out, it's not too bad. But just like that, it doesn't feel very good at all. Neither does the other one. So the other one, but they don't have a lot of play in them. I think I've got an axle or drive shaft I should say in the garage I might check that one out because um, I really don't know I mean when I, I was running it and, it and it sounded like the diff so I, I don't think there is anything wrong with these drive shafts but they don't have a lot of play in them or anything so I'm going to go and check one out in the shed and I'll get back to you. Alright, I don't know how long that was recording for, but um, it really shouldn't have been. I suspect that it's my axles on the inside here, so I'm going to try and pull one out. Whether I can break these bolts or not, I don't know. I think the shock will have to come off. No. See, this is what I was talking about. You have to be really careful. Um, I think I would rather remove the shock. It needs to come out. It's in the way, because you need a fair bit of leverage here. And that's got to really be seated in there properly to work and I might use a breaker bar so uh, alright so the only thing left to do is to undo these bolts that you can see there and I'm going to pull the axles out but I think this is going to turn into another video so I'm going to wrap this one up because it's already way too long and uh, like share and subscribe please leave comments 
um, and I'll catch you in the next one.